In this video, I'll be sharing few mnemonics in order to remember easily the various categories of bacteria, right? So as you can see here, we have gram-positive cocci, gram-positive bacilli, gram-negative cocci followed by gram-negative bacilli, right? So let me just read out the microorganisms, the names first, and then we'll discuss easier ways in order to remember them. So gram-positive cocci, we have streptococci, staphylococci, lactococci, viridans group of streptococci, and enterococci. And gram-positive bacilli, we have actinomyces, bacillus, clostridium, corinbacterium, and listeria. And gram-negative cocci, nisiria. And gram-negative bacilli, we have salmonella, shigella, klebsiella, legionella, bortetella, brucella, francella, Pasteurella, E. coli, Vibrio, Campylobacter, Helicobacter, Pseudomonas, Bacteroids, Haemophilus, Species as well as Ersenia. So I try to cover the major organisms which are involved in various infectious diseases, right? So these are some of the major organisms, right? So coming to gram-positive cocci, so you can remember it in this fashion. So since you have P here, in streptococci as well as staphylococci so you can remember them as positive gram positive because you have p here right and as the name includes cocci you can easily remember it as cocci right so cocci group of bacteria so streptococci staphylococci they are gram positive cocci organisms and how do you remember these lactococci and enterococci so remember it as love so L stands for lactococci, V stands for viridans, and E stands for enterococci, right? So that's how you can easily remember various important or major gram-positive cocci. So streptococci, staphylococci, lactococci, viridans group, and also we have enterococci, right? And now moving on to gram-positive bacilli. So just remember that. So whenever you're starting something, some kind of activity with positiveness usually we start from the beginning point right so write down a b c in the alphabets a b c where a stands for actinomyces b stands for bacillus c stands for clostridium right so once you write down clostridium here this c further stands for corin bacterium and l stands for Listeria, right? That's how you can simplify and easily remember various gram positive bacilli, right? So, gram positive bacilli you have Actinomyces, Bacillus, Clostridium, Corin Bacterium, and Listeria. And you'll not have a confusion whether to remember these as cocci or bacilli because Bacillus is present here, right? So, Bacillus obviously it comes under bacilli. So, the rest of the organisms also come under bacilli, right? So, these are some of the gram positive bacilli. And coming to gram-negative cocci, so you have negative NE, right? So you have Neisseria NE. That's how you can remember it as a gram-negative organism. So does it come under cocci or bacilli? So you have double S here, right? You have double C here, right? So you have repetition of alphabets or letters, right? So that's how you can remember Neisseria as a gram-negative cocci, right? Gram-negative because Neisseria starts with NE, so negative we have NE. And cocci you have two C's and Neisseria you have two S, right? So that's how you can easily remember Neisseria as a gram negative cocci. And coming to gram negative bacilli, so it's a hard and fast way, it's very simple to remember these organisms because most of these organisms have E L L A at the end portion of the word right as you can see here most of the organisms they have e l l a salmonella shigella clipsella legionella bordetella brucella francisella pasteurella right so ellas they're included under gram negative bacilli you can remember these organisms the rest of the microorganisms in the following manner just imagine you have attended a camp a dental camp or a medical camp in a helicopter in a chopper right 
and you have this traveler's diarrhea because of consumption of contaminated water over there. This contaminated water, usually water contamination is by either E. coli bacteria or Vibrio cholerae. So as a result of which you have this traveler's diarrhea and you are hospitalized. And in hospital, you have this hospital acquired infection. And these hospital acquired infections are most commonly because of pseudomonas. So if you can remember this phrase, then you can easily remember these group of microorganisms. Helicobacter because you have traveled in a chopper, helicopter and Campylobacter because you have attended a camp, E. coli and Vibrio because of water contamination, traveler's diarrhea and pseudomonas as it is a hospital acquired infection. So no one in his right mind would take this experience as a positive experience, right? So obviously this is a negative experience. So you can remember it as gram negative negative and also E. coli and all I know uh, I'm quite sure that you all know the basic structure of E. coli it's a rod shaped bacteria right so that's how you can remember these group of organisms has gram negative bacilli right and bacteroids haemophilus ersenia you can either buy heart or you can frame your own mnemonic right so these are some of the microorganisms which fall under the category gram negative bacilli right so that's how you can simplify when you are studying various organisms and you can come up with your own mnemonics right thank you